Yo. When you start playing pro basketball, everything has got to level up. Look who called my younger brother. Hey, Mark, should I go pro, man? Should I leave the country? There's going to be a lot of times where this game's going to test you and you have to have that foundation of you really love basketball. Hello, buddy. Either way, I got to stay ready, bro. Ice fan, what's good, man? Welcome to another video. You already know it's your boy, Matty Ice. Today, we got a special video for y'all, man. Special video. Shout out to my guy Trey, all the way out in Germany, doing this video with me, guys. This is about to break the internet. So, what I need y'all to do is drop a like already. Drop a like and then come back to the video. Watch to the end, man. We got different perspectives here, man. I'm, I'm a D3 retired hooper. If you don't know me from Trey's channel, my name is Matt Alodegue. D3 Hooper. I just finished my season. I'm a senior, so I'm done. You know, so I'm looking forward to the next step. Trey's doing me a favor by giving me the inside and behind the scenes of professional basketball overseas. I'm thinking about pursuing professional basketball overseas. It would be a great opportunity for me. And shout out to Trey, man. He's doing it, man. To like W's in the chat, man, for my guy Trey. So I'm right now about to head to my workout. I just woke up. Um, I'm gonna show you guys throughout my whole day. What do I do? Kind of in the off season, you know, it's off season time. Uh, my season's over, so it's time to get back to the grind. So I'm gonna show you all my grind throughout the day. And stay tuned, man. This is gonna be a great video. Shout out to Trey from Germany. Let's get it, man. Ice family on top. What's up, y'all? My name is Trey Jackson. I'm a current fourth year pro. I played in Serbia, Poland, and now I'm, I'm hooping in Germany. My guy, Matt, he, he just finished up his college career like a lot of guys right now. They're kind of thinking what they want to do next. I want to give you guys kind of inside look and show them what life would look like overseas. So I'm going to take y'all through a day in the life, kind of some of the stuff I do, some of the normal things that life's going to be like when you're overseas. And so y'all can make a better, more informed decision. and. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be fun. I, I hope you all enjoy. Hey, you gotta wake up too, man. Wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. <laughs> wake up, wake up. First things first, after my vitamins, I gotta get to my coffee. You can see the little coffee setup. Normally I do pour overs and stuff, but today I'm just gonna do the old fashioned espresso, baby. in about an hour and a half it's i want to say it's like 8 50 right now i'll get to the gym around 9 15 or so practice at 10 30. um you got to realize 
when you start playing pro basketball, everything has got to level up. You know, you may have thought you had a good system in college, but now you're at a higher level. So your systems and your routines, they have to upgrade to that higher level as well. Think about that when you're making that decision to play overseas. All right, y'all, so here's the case that I'm rocking today for my workout, um, way of weight. I don't know what version these are, but hey, fire. <laughs> so let's get it. One thing, if I go overseas, if I play pro, I want to be one of the trippiest pros. It's a little cold outside, so I gotta put on the shirt. But if I were to go pro too, I would want to go to like a uh, warmer country. Um, you know, I'm not a big fan of the of the cold. My morning commute you can kind of see how the buildings are a little different than the states a lot more old european style once you get used to it you're, you're gonna end up really liking it All right, so I'm about to get it just a light little workout in. Um, yeah, empty gym vibes, you know what it is, you know? Just trying to stay consistent, man. Like, I know if I want to go overseas, I got to keep, you know, working out, you know what I mean? So, and definitely like later this summer, I want to go and get some real runs in with some pro guys, overseas guys. So, yeah, let's get to it. As you transition into becoming a professional, whether that be basketball, content creation, whatever you choose, man, the simplest advice I can give you, be early and be professional. Those things never get taken for granted and you can control them every time. You do them, you're already ahead of 80% of the people. Here's our practice facility. Trophy center.
<laughs> Alright, what's good y'all? So, I just got done my workout and then I just ate some peanut butter and jelly. You know, real ones know. Um, y'all know the vibes with that. So now, we have an award ceremony today for the basketball team and their accomplishments. You know what I mean? So, about to head there. Now I'm with my guy B. Got his fit on, okay. Got the fit on, yes sir. So we about to head there now. Um, I'm about to get dressed and stuff. Then after we're probably gonna get lifting. So full day, you know. So, you know, it's kind of the end of the year here. And you know, this is just like a ceremony just to kind of like set everybody off. So I'll see y'all there, man. Just made it to the weight room. I'm here with my guy, B Slap. Talk to him, B Slap. Today he's gonna be taking me through a workout. So what are we working on? Nah, I mean he wanted to work on some bench, a lot of arms, biceps, and we are gonna be doing a little squat as well. We're gonna do the whole body. Alright, alright, all right. bet, bet. I'm ready. Um, so yeah, so I'm about to be going through this workout, man. Trey, once again, you and I, look. I'm still thinking about doing this overseas thing, so you know, we gotta stay ready. Gotta keep my body ready. And uh, yeah, man, so let's get it. Let's get this working. Always come to practice about an hour early, get my pre-practice routine in. It's, it's sort of like a light lift. It's kind of like a muscle activation thing. Make sure my body can withstand the length of the season because that's one big difference. Overseas basketball, the season's like nine, 10 months. College basketball, you know, it's about six, seven. So there's a big difference. I don't know. I don't know, man. If this is the plan God got for me, but either way, Either way, I gotta stay ready, bro. Ah, uh, B, good work, man. <laughs> good work, bro. We got some good work in, right? Yeah, all, everything. We worked out on everything. It was good. Yeah, yeah. Good job, man. Yeah, man, so, nah, I appreciate you guys for tuning in, man, and, uh, you know, Trey, back in Germany, bro, shout out to Trey, man, like, getting to work in, in another country, hooping, as a dream, man, I'm thinking about it, what you think, you think I, what you just think? Bro? Follow your passion, bro, like, your passion overseas, passion overseas, follow, follow your dreams. Yeah. You know, we'll see, we'll see how it goes, man, but, yo, what do you think, bro? appreciate it. What's up, boy? What's up, boy? What's up, what's up? What's up, my boy? What's up, my boy? Hi. Moment after practice is pretty chill. Just recovering, eating good food, hanging with my dog. So um, I'll take you guys through a little bit of that, but more or less after practice, 
kind of got the rest of the day to do what you want. So. I've been thinking more and more about kind of the spot you're in, Matt, and the decision between trying to go play pro basketball or, or doing something else. And it's funny because I was in that this exact same position coming out of college. I didn't know if I wanted to play pro basketball. I, I kind of wanted to just get into, you know, normal life and get a, get a job and be done with basketball, you know, move on to something else. My dad gave me some really good advice. I'm going to say the same thing to you. Your, your, your lifespan with basketball is very short because your body can only withstand for so long. So if you have an opportunity to play beyond college, there's no reason to not pursue it because those other things you want to pursue maybe after basketball, they'll always be there. And you're not wasting time trying to pursue this basketball stuff because it's a once in a lifetime experience and it's gonna take a lot out of you, man. It's a grueling lifestyle, it's a huge sacrifice. You're gonna be away from family, but in the end, if basketball is your passion, it's gonna be worth it. I think the number one thing you should keep in mind is what is your why? Why are you doing everything? Why do you even wanna play pro basketball? And I think that will lead you in the direction that you're meant to go. Trust yourself, man. I think you got this, man. It can get tough, but let me tell you, it's worth it. It's really worth it. days here at this school and uh, it's 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 been it's been good man you know getting to meet new people and everything but hey it's time to kind of move on and you know like pursue this and and we don't know what the future holds but you know I'm staying true to like my vision and my dream as a kid man as a kid I always wanted to hoop at the next level and like hey this is like this it's time so you know We'll see, and the path to overseas is not easy, as Trey knows. Like, it probably wasn't easy for Trey, and it's not going to be easy for me, but, hey, man, it's worth it. So we're going to see, man. It's all God's plan, man, at the end of the day. It's all God's plan. So look who called my younger brother. Hey, Mark, should I go pro, man? Should I leave the country? I mean, whatever floats your boat, buddy. Whatever floats my boat. <laughs> Alright man. Hey, say what you gotta say to the vlog, bro. Uh, follow me on Instagram at J M A R K. <laughs> Alright, bro. I'll talk to you later, man. Alright. Hey, so whatever floats my boat, bro. I don't know. Alright, I'm gonna catch y'all later. I think there's a common misconception. People love to romanticize that playing professional basketball is glamorous. You know what I'm saying? Like, you get a hoop for a living, da 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 da. But it's, I, I, a lot of times it feels like a glorified nine to five. You know, you do the same thing every day, um, you drive the same way to practice every day. So you really gotta love hoop, man. Like, Matt, if, if, if you want to play this pro basketball stuff and you want to wake up every day and play basketball, it sounds easy and simple now. Like, of course you do. There's going to be a lot of times where this game's going to test you and you have to, like, you have to have that foundation of you really love basketball. So, I think before you decide what you want to do, you have to really ask yourself, how much do you love this game?
little mustache. Looks like stressing B. <laughs> stressing B. All right, guys, so it's about like 2.33 in the morning, no lies. Um, I don't know why I'm up this late, guys. I don't usually stay up this late, but I got back late from just watching the game with the guys. So, um, yeah, I just want to thank everyone for watching this video. If you're new to this channel, um, please subscribe. And if you're from my channel, go subscribe to Trey. Trey, thank you so much, man, for this collab. Thanks for all the insight and everything that you've taught me in this video and to my uh, viewers. Hey, I'm gonna leave it up to God in terms of overseas, but I'm gonna pursue it. I'm gonna keep grinding, keep staying uh, consistent in my routine. I'm glad you guys got to see it a little bit today in uh, different pieces. So thank you guys for your support. I gotta go to sleep, man, it's late. But uh, hey, I love y'all. Um, much love, Ice Family on top. Once again, thank you, Trey all the way from Germany. Everyone go show love to his channel. Ice family on top. Much love.